Your Honor, Mr. Gardai and Mr. Mishik are in a break. Yeah, they, they just went to breakout room. Okay. I am calling the case of Neighborhood Mortgage versus Tyler Sarnecki and any other occupants. So counsel, please identify yourself for the record. Hi, uh, Judge. My name is Catherine Hartkop, and I'm appearing on behalf of the plaintiff. All right. Uh, Trina, is there anyone here uh, named Tyler Zarnecki or anyone in the virtual waiting room that we could bring in? I see Samantha Zarnecki. And Tyler Zarnecki. Okay, so the two of you are here. All right. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mastarnicki, are you hiring an attorney or have you, have you sought the assistance of an attorney for your case or you're representing yourself? Um, we talked to the legal aid, but we're going to represent ourselves. Okay. All right. Uh, counsel, does this would appear to be a termination, no money judgment requested? Is this a uh, post mortgage foreclosure? That's right, Judge. This is a post-mortgage foreclosure uh, action. This is the date and time set for the second hearing in this matter. Um, the uh, redemption period has expired uh, and no uh, payment was made. That redemption period expired March 24 of 2020 and uh, no redemption made. I did have the uh, uh, pleasure of speaking with an Amy uh, Mylink and she represents the Legal Services of Eastern Michigan. She indicated to me that uh, she was not going to be representing the uh, defendants uh, in this matter, uh, that she had indicated to them um, that uh, a, a judgment may be entered today. And so I'm happy to speak to the defendants, but we are asking for uh, summary proceedings today, Judge, uh, based on the, uh, the documents as filed. Okay. Mr. Mistarnicki, um, could you... Uh restart your video so I can see you when I'm speaking to you, please. Yeah, sorry, it keeps going off. That's okay. So I'll, uh, I guess I'll start with you, Ms. Arnicki. This, this is a uh, mortgage foreclosure and then the time for redemption set in place. Have, um, Ms. Harktop said that you, you didn't make your payments or you didn't pay off the, the note. Is that true? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yes, that's, that's right. That's correct. Mr. Zarnick, you agree with that? Yes. Yes. Okay. What are you, what are your plans? Because you can't stay there if you've not paid for the house and you've not paid to catch it back up, you're going to have to move. Have you been working on finding a place? We, we have been actively looking for a place. We're just having trouble actually like finding any place to rent or anything like that, because they're just not out there right now. But we are looking and we have been moving our stuff from the house. Okay. Well, based upon the documents that I see, everything looks to be in order. So I am going to order the uh, judgment for possession for the uh, bank. And that's the plaintiff in this case. Uh, and your writ date will be on July 12th of 2021. So, uh, on or after July 12th, the bank may ask for a writ of eviction and then the sheriff's office would assist them in moving you out. Meaning, making sure you're out, not that they're gonna box up your stuff and, and take it to a new place. They're just gonna tell you that you need to leave. I hope you understand okay. their time. Okay. All right, Ms. Ms. Harkop, we do have, um, we do have an email if you wish to submit the order that way. That email is 75, uh, Kelly, it's 75th, right? Or is it 75? 75 civil. It's 75 civil at co.midland.mi.us. Well, that's great, Judge. And I do believe that uh, uh, during the uh, meeting uh, when we were in the breakout room last uh, week with uh, uh, Mr. Zarnecki, who was the borrower on this uh, particular file, and then uh, Mrs. Zarnecki, who was uh, any and all unknown occupant, uh, Mrs. Zarnecki, the, uh, an email address was provided. I, I want to see, does Mr. Zarnecki have an email so I can... Um, forward this on, a copy of this on to him that way. Otherwise, otherwise we'd be sending it by mail. Just, I mean, you could send it to my email. 
Mr. Zarnecki, is that acceptable to you, sir? Is that fine? Uh, Did they send a copy to my email? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, he has consented. Um, very well, Judge, and thank you very much. And thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Zarnecki, very much. All right, thank you. We'll be adjourned on that case. Great, thank you. All right, I know. Next case, next case I'm calling is Steve Wicks and conservator for Phyllis Rooks versus Edward Rooks. Uh, looks like both attorneys are back. So counsel, please identify yourselves for the record. Mike Michigan, I'm the attorney for Steve Wicks and director of the Office of Midland Public Guardian. Good afternoon, Judge. John Garda appearing on behalf of Edward Rooks, and um, he also joins us by Zoom. All right. Has there been an agreement reached between the parties in this case? No, Your Honor, there has not. And I just, I did learn uh, this afternoon that there is someone else also living at the home, um, a Christine Heater, if I'm saying that right, who is the defendant's sister. Um, Mr. Wixon, and I didn't know that, so she has not been served with the summons and complaint or any of these proceedings. Uh, Your Honor, I just <clears throat> wanted to get that out front straight away to avoid any issues and defects. Okay, so what would you propose that, that I do? And we can move forward regarding the hearing or you can adjourn it to a modify, if that makes sense. I don't know if Mr. Gardai would represent the other individual or not. I, to me, it makes simply makes more sense to just have one hearing. So I'd rather prefer to amend the complaint and get her served your honor, if that, if the court is, would permit that. I, I presume, Mr. Gardai, that's not going to be a problem. Your client gets to live in the place a little longer. That, that, that's very acceptable to us, Your Honor. And I will, of course, discuss the matter with them. But my inclination at this point is that she would probably hire me as well. So I'd probably end up defending both of them. The question then becomes, uh, should Mr. Missy call you regarding service? Thanks. Oh, um, Yes, I, I will. I will confirm that with Ms. Heater. Actually, she is present. Perhaps she okay. can confirm that for us. Ms. Heater, do you mind if I accept the papers on your behalf? Yes. Y yes, it's okay. Yes, that's okay. Okay, All thank right. you, ma'am. Sometimes we ask questions, and the answer uh, we, we certainly know, but the question was worded in the in the negative. All right, so let's adjourn this um, out uh, to July fourteenth. At one o'clock. One o'clock? All right, Correct. July 14th, one o'clock. Mr. Gardai, are you available? Oh, sorry. Ooh, I should look as well, Your Honor. I was just going to say, Mr. Mishik, the, the question's coming to you next. So whoever uh, looks at her calendar and lets me know. I, uh, I'm good, Your Honor. Thank you. That works, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, July 14th at one o'clock. And uh, I, I know that it's shorter than the amendment, but if Mr. Gardai knows, it, it's simply just adding a name. Uh, so I think that it can be accomplished. All right, we'll be adjourned. July 14th. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you.